Turkey has many fascinating cities, places that hold an incredibly rich history that definitely worth a visit. In today's video, we'll show you the beautiful city of Edirne, a less touristy city which is just two hours away from Istanbul and that we recommend you adding it to your Turkey travel itinerary. But before we start with our video, click that subscribe button in case you want to watch more informative videos about traveling in Turkey. Edirne is a border city with Bulgaria and Greece. It currently has over 400,000 inhabitants and right now it's settled in what once was a Thracian settlement. Before the city took its current name, it was also known as Hadrianapolis. The city was refounded by the Roman Emperor Hadrian. Then between 1362 and 1369, the Ottomans under the rule of Sultan Murad I, father of Fatih Sultan Mehmed II, conquered the city of Hadrianapolis, changing its name to Edirne. The city remained the Ottoman capital for over 80 years, until 1453, when Sultan Mehmed II took Constantinople, now Istanbul, and moved the capital there. That is why in this beautiful city we can find many important monuments of the Ottoman Empire period. Just as an interesting fact, Edirne is the second largest city in Europe, just after Florence, Italy, to have the most monuments per square meter. Edirne doesn't have an airport, but is easily reached by bus from any city including Istanbul. You can take a three-hour bus ride with Nullifer Bus Company, which is the one we used for this route. We only paid 240 liras round trip per person. From Edirne's bus station, then you need to take a taxi to your accommodation. We only paid 30 liras to the city center. This hotel is located just three minutes away from the main monuments in the city center of Edirne. We paid 300 Turkish liras per night for our room, with breakfast included. There is also a free parking lot in front of the hotel. The room was super clean and comfortable. This beautiful mosque was built during the first half of the 15th century. That means between the years of 1426 and 1436 under the orders of, of Sultan Murad II. The minaret that we see is not the original one. This is from 1957. The original one was adorned with decorative tiles, but the mosque was severely damaged by many earthquakes that now it's made of stone. Muradiye Mosque is also located on a hill, which actually it will offer us amazing views of the city of Edirne. This museum is open every single day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and the entrance fee is quite affordable. It's only 13 liras per person and the Museum Pass Turkey is also accepted. The museum is divided into two main sections, ethnographic, where we can see silver works and other household objects rocks and kilims from the 19th century, coins from the Ottoman Empire, traditional clothing, weapons, coffee brewing pots, and ceramics. We can also see numerous exhibits from many settlements around this area. Some of the largest exhibits are displayed in the curtain of the venue. Here we can find many columns and sarcophagus belonging to the Hellenistic and Roman periods. This is a wonderful exhibition of gravestones representing the Ottoman era burials, collected from different graveyards of the city. 
This exhibition was created to protect the most beautiful examples of endangered Ottoman era gravestones. Selimiye Mosque is the most important and at the same time the most famous historical monument in Edirne. This Ottoman Imperial Mosque was designed by Mimar Sinan, the most distinguished architect of the Ottoman Empire by the age of 80. He was also responsible for the erection of more than 300 buildings, including bridges, mattresses, and mosques. Selimiye Mosque was built between 1566 and 1574 under the orders of Sultan Selim II, son of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. Selimiye Mosque is considered to be the finest piece of work of Mimar Sinans and nowadays is, is considered as part of the UNESCO's World Heritage as well. I don't know about you, but to be honest, this mosque is so beautiful. Now I realize why this mosque is considered as one of the masterpieces of Mimar Sinan. I have seen many of his works, including in Istanbul, for example, the Suleimaniye Mosque, which is also considered one of the most beautiful pieces of his own work. But now I can see why this one is, is considered as his masterpiece. Just look at every single detail. I have never seen a place like this before. And let me tell you that I have visited many mosques here in Turkey, but this one is wow. This facade is also very historical in Edirne. It was built during the second half of the 16th century by Sultan Mura III, son of Sultan Selim II, which means the grandson of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. The main reason was to generate income for the upkeep of the imperial mosque, Selimiye Mosque. There are 124 shops and it's a shopping spot preferred by local and foreign tourists who come to visit Selimiye Mosque. We recommend you buying badem esmesi or almond paste, kavala in English means almond cookies and kalabi. These are pistachio cookies, both are the specialties of Edirne. A caravanserai was a place in the past where travelers and traders were able to stay and recover from their long journey. You were able to find these places, especially along the Silk Road. This building that you can see behind me is a historical caravanserai built by Rustem Pasha. In the 1560s, one of the Grand Viziers, Rustem Pasha, commissioned the imperial architect Sinan, also known in Turkish as Mimar Sinan, to design the caravanserai at Edirne. Nowadays, we cannot really go inside because it's going under restoration. We were able to, to see only through a little hole, and believe me, whenever they open it, it will be stunning. But here we can find many stores and people selling different products. other place in Turkey, of course Edirne also has its special dish and here what it's famous for is about the tabak jie. Jie means liver and I know that many people don't like liver. There is, there is not like a middle point between like oh yeah I kind of like it or they hate it or they love it. In my case I'm of those people that really love liver and right now I'm so excited to try it here in Edirne. So here in Turkey, how they make it is that they they put flour into the into the liver and then they, they put it to fry. I have I haven't tried it like this. Mm. It's really good. So you already know that if you come to Edirne, you must try this dish special from Edirne, Tabajir.
The Great Synagogue of Edirne was built after the Great Fire of 1905. During this disaster, all the 13 synagogues of Edirne were burned to the ground. The Jewish community started building a new synagogue in January of 1906, after getting the permission of the Ottoman government. This bridge is a very historical site in Edirne. This bridge is called Tunja Bridge because it passes over the Tunja River, which also passes through Bulgaria and Turkey. This one was built between 1605 and 1618. Also throughout the time has undergone many restorations and the last one was made in 2008. This place is amazing during the sunset because as you can see, also we can see the reflections of the sun. So this is the perfect timing for coming here. This is another bridge that we can find here in Ederne, and this passes over another river called Meric River, or in English, Maritza River. This river specifically passes through Bulgaria, Greece, and Turkey. And also in this place, it is very beautiful, and also here there are some little cafes along the river. So right now we're gonna sit down there and spend the night because we would love to see specifically this bridge lightened at night. After walking for so many hours, we finally got the chance just to come and sit and relax and enjoy these beautiful views. As I told you before, the, there are some nice cafes along the Marriage River and we have behind the Mer Marriage Bridge. So we are just enjoying here our evening and also we are drinking some Turkish coffee and we are going to try and eat some of our desserts that we just bought in the Arasta Bazaar because I'm so excited for trying them. So let's see. Really good. The pistachio, the flavor is just right there, just as I like it. This is a beautiful place located in the city center of Edirne. This is the Eski Mosque, or in English, the Old Mosque. And this one is beautifully decorated with huge and original calligraphies. And this is the oldest mosque of all the Sultan mosques that are here in the city. And the only difference that make it a bit special from the other ones is that most of mosques are built with one huge dome in the center, but this one, was built with smaller domes and in total we can find nine of them. The construction of the mosque began in 1403 on the order of Emir Suleiman Chelebi, one of the sons of Bayezid I. The mosque was completed in 1414. This is another splendid example of the Ottoman architecture in the city. This is the Uç Şerefile Mosque, which means the mosque with three balconies. And its name comes because one of its main features is that in one of the four minarets, we can find three little balconies. It was built under the orders of Sultan Murat II between 1437 and 1447. This means that it's over 100 years older than Selimiye Mosque. During the time, it was the largest mosque ever built in the Ottoman Empire. The place where Edirne stands today, back in the days was a Roman city, and this was built by the Emperor Hadrian, which back in the days it was called as Hadrianapolis. 
Right now, the only remainings that we can see from back in the days here in Etierne are precisely this tower, a fortification, and these walls. From this place, now we can see only ruins, but back in the days, this used to be one of the most majestic palaces of the Ottoman Empire. This was called the Edirne's New Palace. The construction of this palace began in 1450 by Sultan Murad II. It was systematically expanded, but after the Sultan died, the construction stopped. After some time, the work was resumed and it was finished by Sultan Mehmed II, also known as the Conqueror, in 1475. For a period of time, these were the main living quarters of Ottoman sultans and their families. The most famous sultan born in the palace was Sultan Fatih Mehmed II, the third son of Murad II, who was born in 1432. Even he lived here after the conquest of Constantinople, now Istanbul. When Istanbul was rebuilt after the siege of the conquest of Constantinople is when Fatih Sultan Mehmed II moved the administration of the Ottoman Empire from Edirne to Istanbul. Many people might be wondering why this palace nowadays is in ruins. And the main reason is because during the Russo-Turkish War, uh, Jamil Pasha, who was the Edirne's governor back then, he decided to blow up these building because he was in fear that the Russian forces will take over this place. But in present times, actually, there is a project and very interesting project going on from the Trakia University, and they are trying to do some excavations. And at the same time, they are going to try to restore the place. And hopefully in the future, visitors can also see this marvelous place. In these little streets in the city center of Edirne, we can find lots of shops where you can find also a lot of affordable clothing and products for your home decor and even souvenirs. As I mentioned before, Edirne is a border city with Bulgaria and Greece, and that is why a lot of Bulgarian people, they love coming to this part of Turkey, Edirne, for shopping. And that is why also we can find in many shops around here with Turkish advertisements and also in Bulgarian. They have many things. Michael Kors. <laughs> everything. They have everything here. I really wanted to come to this uh, to this bazaar because it is quite famous, especially between Turkish and Bulgarian people. This only you can find it during Fridays. That is why it's also known as the Juma Pasare. But something that I'm in love from this place is about the sellers. So every place we have walked through, they have unique techniques and so funny things to say and to attract people to their places. As you can hear from the guy just behind me, he's just saying so many funny things. I really wish you could understand everything. Now finally, after walking a lot today, this is our second day in Edirne, we're finally having our lunch and we are here in this famous place because yesterday we already ate the delicacy of Edirne, which is the tabagier or a, a plate with liver. 
Now we want to try a good place where they have the köfte, which is the meatballs. So this is a very good place for, for it in Edirne and it's just next to the Selimie Mosque. So it will be very easy for you to locate it. I have just ordered some mercimek çorbası or lentil soup. And this is one of my favorites in Turkey. I'm so hungry and I'm sure it will be so good. Oh, it's so good. Really no joke, this is so good. Also, when you are ordering your meals from here, they will bring you these other sides, which are some sauces and onion and more pepper and without any extra fees. So you can just feel free and consume all of these as well. This place has uh, affordable prices. It is mostly the köfte, some grilled vegetables and the, and the rice. So for this plate, we paid 40, 40 liras each and for the uh, lentil soup, we paid 12 liras. So it is very affordable, I, I think, and the taste is really good. I mean, the meat is tender, it's juicy, and you can smell the grilled flavors, which I love, by the way. This is another dessert that we highly recommend you trying in Edirne. This is called the Peiner Helvase, and it's not just famous in Edirne, but it's famous throughout all the region of Trakia. And also, actually, some years ago when we visited Chanakale, they also have something similar. And ever since, I loved it. So as soon as I saw it here in Edirne as well, I wanted to try it. And actually, they're a bit different between them, but they might taste similar so right now let's see oh yes actually the, the texture is different from what i remember the one in chalancale when i try it let's see like this and then... mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this museum is the second most visited historical site in edirne after the selimia mosque it houses recreated rooms of a hospital from the Ottoman period. The complex consists of a mosque, guest houses, a medical school, a hospital, soup kitchen cellar, pharmacy and food storage areas. Its construction started in 1488 by the order of Sultan Bayezid II and was completed in 1488. The hospital and the school formed one of the most important medical centers of the Middle East. It was opened to visitors as the Health Museum in 1993. This museum has received many national and international awards, including the European Museum of the Year, awarded in 2004 by the Council of Europe, plus it was included in the UNESCO Tentative World Heritage List in 2016. This building that we can see behind me is one of the most important buildings of this complex. And this, for many hundreds of years, it was uh, one medical school during the Ottoman period mainly. And here is where teachers and students, they were experimenting and they were uh, trying new uh, medical treatments as well. So this was our short getaway to Edirne city from Istanbul. As you can see, there are many beautiful places to see. And also it is a very important city for the Ottoman history, especially. Thanks a lot for watching our video. And if you want to keep receiving more tips and recommendations about Istanbul and in general, Turkey, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye bye. Nasıl? <gülüyor>